Hello everyone, welcome to Naresha Technologies, this is Hare Krishna. In this session let us try to understand writing data to a file. In last session we completed reading data from the file statically and dynamically. Now in this session let us try to understand writing data to a file. So can you please try to question yourself, what is the meaning of writing data to a file? Why I should write data to a file? If I do not write data to a file, what is the problem? Okay, if I if I need to write data to a file, what are the different things I must use in my Java program? So these are all the questions if you ask yourself, then understanding this session is easy, clear? So first let us try to understand, I am taking one Java program, this Java program contains some data. So first question answer I want to give, why I should write data to a file? Okay. So what is the file? File is nothing but a persistence media, what is the meaning of persistence media? Anything you save in the file that will be permanently available, even you shut down the system also, the data will be there. When you restart, you can read the data back from the file. But what is the problem if the data is available with the Java program? In a Java program, the data once you store, once the Java program execution completed, the entire data whatever you save in the program will be lost. because in Java program, data is saved inside a variable or inside a object. So, the variable and objects will occupy memory inside RAM, once Java program execution completed, the RAM memory destroyed and finally, now the data loss. If you want to maintain this data permanently, the only one option is, you have to save the data inside a file. Yeah, of course, you can also save data inside a database, that is the part of JDBC topic. So, currently, as part of core Java, we are learning saving the data into a file. So, Final conclusion, if you want to make your data, if you want to make your application data permanently stored and when you restart your application, you want to read the data back, the only solution you must save the data inside a file for persistency. Okay, fine. Now the next question, if I want to save this data inside a file, what are the different activities we have to do in my Java program? That means, what are the different classes objects I should create, what are the different methods I should call? Fine. You know very well, uh, if you want to connect it to a file, first of all I need to one stream connection required and then further I should invoke the method. In this example, what stream connection you need, input stream connection or output stream connection? Try, try to answer. In this example, I need to open input stream connection or output stream connection. Obviously, output stream connection only we should open because I want to save data, data should go out of my Java application. Then what output stream class object I should create? It is nothing but file output stream class object, correct my point? I must create file output stream class object connecting to abc.txt file because file output stream only help us to connect it to the file for writing data into the file. After FOS object created connecting to the file, you must further call write method for writing data into the file. So, it is simply two step process, writing data to a file is minimum two step process. What is the two steps? Number one, create FOS class object connecting to the file and second, you have to call write method. Then when you call write method, you must pass the value, some value, whatever the data you want to save the data, assume I want to save the data 5. Then what write method will do, you must understand what the write method functionality. Write method takes the given argument value into its logic, inside its logic, it converts the given value 5 into zeros and 1s of 1 byte range value and that 1 byte range value will be stored inside a FOS object, okay? Repeating once again, what write method is doing? Write method will take the given argument value, converts into 1 byte zeros and 1s and that zeros and 1s are stored inside a FOS object. So, what is the 5 in the binary format 101? and remaining are zeros. Then finally, FOS will flush the data into the file and save it in the first byte of the abc.txt file. All are catching my point? So, simple Java application development for writing data into a file is simple minimum two step process. Create FOS object and further call write method, fine. Now the next question, uh, only two steps sufficient to develop this application? No, 
you must complete 5 steps are there. So, you know additional steps, 3 more additional steps are there. What are the additional steps? Number 1, add import statement for java.io package and then next handle exceptions. Now, you have to create FOS object and then further you have to invoke FOS dot write method. Okay? And last you have to call close method for closing FOS connection. So, these are the 5 steps you have to implement for writing data into a file. I hope you all you understand. Okay. Fine. So, can you please try to tell me what are the points we have discussed in this session? First point, why I need to write the data into file? Okay. First question, why we need to write data to a file? For storing data permanently, we have to write data or save the data inside a file. Why I should save the data permanently? After my program execution completed, if you want to get that value again, you have to save the data permanently. The data stored in the Java program is not persistent or not permanent because after the program execution completed, the memory created for storing data will be destroyed. Second point we discussed, what are the different, what are the different classes and methods we must use for developing this application, we must use FOS class and FOS class write method. Then third point, what are the different steps are there to implement this application? Totally we have five steps are there to implement, okay? these are the five steps. So, this is the basic idea about writing data to your file, I hope you all you understood. Now, let us try to implement this application, open edit plus, open java editor, now type class name as FOS demo and save this class with the same name FOS demo dot java. Save in the same folder iOS teams folder where we have saved FOS demo dot java file. Then now try to implement all 5 steps. First step is what? Add import statement, then handle exceptions, and then create file output stream class object connecting to a file. Now, I want to choose the file as bbc.txt not abc.txt because abc.txt file we have already used reading data from FIS class. Okay? So, now I do not want to get conflicts, I want to create separate file. The next step, invoke write method for writing data into the file. So, FIS dot write of, we want to write data just a file. Then after writing for display purpose, I mean for debugging to know the data writing or not, here I am displaying a message, data is saved. At last close the connection. So that is it, these are the 5 steps we have to implement and we have implemented program completed. Okay? So I hope you got clarity. Now save it, let us compile and execute to see what happened. Open command prompt, open command prompt, change drive, change directory clear screen. Now compile FOS demo dot java file. Right. So now we have FIS demo and abc dot txt files already and now we have now created newly FOS demo dot java. Compile it java c FOS demo dot java. Okay? Compile this program. Then observe background dot class file is created. Okay? FOS demo dot class file is created. Now if I execute FOS demo dot java file, my question is will you get file not found exception? In FIS demo class when execution we got file not found exception if I have not created abc dot txt file. Same way if I do not create a bbc dot txt file will we get file not found exception? I hope you remember in java program we have we are using bbc dot txt file, go and check once. Here we are using bbc.txt file. If this bbc.txt file not available, will file output stream class constructor will throw file not found exception? Again, I am asking, will this file output stream class constructor throw file not found exception if this bbc.txt file is not available? Let us test. Come back to command prompt, keep the folder and the command prompt side by side, and now execute. Look at that clearly. So, there is no exception, we got the message data is saved and background if you observe bbc.txt file is created. That means, FOS class constructor will not to throw an exception, rather it will create the file if the file is not available. It is very important point, remember. 
If the file is not available, it will create the file that is very, very important. Let us try to test. Inside this bbc.txt file, do you have data already saved or not? Right click, open with notepad. Uh, look at there, we have something data, one byte of data there. Let me increase the font. Observe here, the some data is saved here. This data is a representation of binary form representation of the file. Okay? So, there is a lot of details are there we will discuss about it, why that uh, vertical line is coming and all those things I will explain later. At this minute, some data there in the file or not, that is only the point. Yes, it is there, that means the value 5 is saved in the file. Okay. Now, let us go back to the Java program. Can you explain this program execution flow completely what happened? So, this is our file. So, whenever you run this Java application FIS demo, so first FIS object is created. So, FIS object is created with the file connecting with what bbc.txt file, connecting with bbc.txt file. If the bbc.txt file is not available, FIS constructor will create the bbc.txt file automatically. And further when you call fis.writeof5, then write method will write the value 5 in the format of zeros and ones, 1 byte data into the file. Okay? Then further, now we got this message on the console and it is closed. Okay, FIS object is closed, connection is closed. This is a simple application, very, very small budget application. So, now what I am requesting you, you have to try to practice this example. Compulsory practice, type you yourself and observe the all the cases whatever I explain. Okay, now that is all I have for writing data into a file. I hope you all understand and enjoyed. In the next session, we will try to understand file copy operation. What is the meaning of file copy operation? I have already one file, read the data from the file and copy the data into another file. That is the example we are trying to understand. So, by this time in IOS team programming, we have completed how to read data from the file and how to write data into the file. By combining these two application, in the next video we will discuss file copy operation. That file copy application is very, very important from the interview system test exam point of view. Okay. So, uh, do not miss the next session, it is very, very important. Before come to the next session, practice all these uh, examples, whatever we discussed last three examples and uh, available for next video. Thanks for watching this video. Subscribe to Nareshati channel for more updates. Thank you. See you in the next video.